Welcome to a lesson with Dr. Powell. Let's take a look at how we can take a matrix, which is written with respect to a B coordinates. So a basis of a vector A and a vector B and rewrite it with respect to standard coordinates. So right now, um, what do we input into this matrix function um, and what do we get out of it? Let's suppose we input something like this to one in the AB coordinates. What in the world is that? That, this re simply represents the vector 2A plus B. Notice this two and the one, those are simply the coefficients of A and B, a linear combination of them. And so we're describing all our vectors as linear combinations of A and B. Well, since A and B is a basis, we can do so. So we can rewrite a, a, any vector um, in R2 as 2A, or as um, something times A plus something times B. And those coefficients right there go in right here. So then what outputs is something in the coordinates A and B? Because that's what we've, and how do we know that? Well, just simply because we said, said that this matrix is going to describe what happens to AB coordinates. So here we'll be put in a 2, 1 in AB coordinates. What comes out? is a three negative three when we do this matrix multiplication, we'll remember it's in AB coordinates. So two A plus B goes to three A minus three B. Great, so this matrix is going to be with respect to an AB coordinate system. Um, now, the question is, can we describe this linear transformation, which is a good linear transformation, it really does take in all vectors in R2 and output any vector in R2, because all vectors in R2 can be exp are expressible this way and that way. Can we can we express this linear transformation so it's not in the AB coordinates? But I want it to have the same effect. Um, I want it to be in written with respect to standard coordinates, E1 and E2, E, where um, E1 is equal to 1, 0, and E2 is equal to 0, 1. So the standard coordinates that we're used to working with. And we do that. Well, the way we do this is, so this right here is our matrix A. So what we gotta do is we gotta take our matrix A and think about function composition. The first thing we wanna do is, um, if we input something in standard coordinates, we first have to change it. And we have to change it into AB coordinates. How do we do that? So I call this a pretending um, matrix. So meaning you take, you take this these vectors in standard coordinates and you rewrite them with respect in a b coordinates so it kind of tells tells you how to um how to uh how to think about this vector in a b coordinates and we can think of that as a pretending idea um and then we want to unpretend afterwards to get us back standard coordinates again because we're in pretending land over here so we have to first jump into pretending land and then we can unpretend and come back unpretending is the same as multiplying by p inverse or if you will you could think of it backwards you could think unpretending and then uh, p is simply u inverse the unpretending inverse now the unpretending so this is what you, this is the input right here, but really the linear transformation itself is just those guys right there. That's what we're after. The unpretending matrix we can build pretty simply um, because it tells us like we, yeah, um, um, it, it tells us, so if we're pretending um, how to unpretend. So if we're pretending, then what is one zero? What is one zero? Where does that go? Well, it goes simply to um, what A is in standard coordinates right here, zero, one. All right, if we input, because one, zero in AB coordinates, remember, this is simply A. Okay, so now we put B in, in AB coordinates, which looks very nice, it's just zero, one. So the image of that's gonna be the second column. That's B, and the image of that's just the second column. The second column is just right what we have here, the uh, negative one, one. All right, so that's not too bad. So they have an unpretending matrix, and how do we come up with the pretending one? We just simply take the inverse of this guy. So we'll do some 
we'll do some um, row operations. First, if we swap top and bottom, we, um, so if we top of zero, negative one, 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 we end up with one, one, zero, negative one. Now I'm going to um, rescale. So that would leave me with uh, one by multiplying by negative one here. So one, one, zero, one. And then I airdrop up one time, a negative one times this row, add it up. We're to have a one, zero, zero, one. Now let's apply these exact same steps to the identity matrix and it'll get us this guy. So let's see, one, one. And we think, okay, the first thing that's done is we swap. So we're gonna swap these guys. So we got one, one, and then next, we'll multiply the bottom by a negative one. Then we multiply the bottom by negative one and add up. So negative one add up to be a positive one there. And that's it. So this right here should be the inverse uh, view. So we have one, one, negative one, zero. And we can double check, and we can double check can double check that. Let's see. Um, okay, so one, let's see. So we got um, uh, one, negative one, so that, and like, yep, so that looks right and picks out the right way. Okay, so that is the inverse, just double checking that. So this right here is the matrix that would describe that. And then we just have to simply carry out that multiplication um, input what this is in for A, carry it out, and we would be able to see um, the linear trans transformation that describes um, the same linear transformation this does, but in standard coordinates. Okay, so we put in the matrix for A, 1, 1, negative 1, negative 1, and then we matrix multiply right there, matrix multiply that out. And we end up, and let's see, so for this particular case, we could do, um, okay, so if we multiply these two guys, first two guys together, um, this means take first column, subtract the next column, that's just like zeros. So we get zero, zero, and then this guy means pick out that, that column right here. So one and negative one. So multiplying those two together, you get this. Then you multiply it to the, by that, 0, negative 1, 1, 1. I think row interpretation this time. So this just picks out negative 1 times that guy, So which would be uh, 0, 1. And this just add those together, you just get 0, 0. OK, so that is the result of the matrix multiplication. Hmm. So in AB, so in standard coordinates, this is all that's happening, OK? So E1 just goes to zero. So the X, the X coordinate just vanishes and then you just, um, so E1 goes to zero. And then um, what does E2 go? E2 actually goes to E1. Then the Y coordinate turns into the X. So for instance, if I had like five, two, what would be happening here? Um, uh, it would simply be um, two, zero would be the effect. So, um, all right, so two zero would be the effect here if I put in five two and in, in there and and did it that way. Um, I would get that now, maybe let's just check to see if that actually is what is what what's happening. If we put in um if we put five two in here, so let's um let's see five two and we and we see what it um what it is when we pretend. Um, and put into AB coordinates, what do we actually get out? Because this is a standard coordinates right here. But if we put it into AB coordinates, then we just multiply it by the pretending matrix, um, which would be the same thing as five times that column plus two times that column. So you end up getting uh, seven, negative five. Okay, so five, two written in AB coordinates using the um, pretending matrix um, would be, uh, yeah, so seven, negative five. 
Okay, so seven, negative five. So running this linear transformation on it, what does it do? All right, so this would tell me that I would end up getting, um, uh, so that would end, I would end up getting two and um, negative two. Okay, that would be the output of it. All right, now what is two negative two written in uh, standard coordinates? Just put it into the unpretending matrix right here and see what happens. So, um, okay, so that would just be twice that column minus two times that column. So which would actually end just to being two zero. Hey, that's exactly what we said it would be, right? Right there. And so we have successfully um, found um, the matrix in standard, co standard coordinates that represents um, what this does in AB coordinates, but on the same vector space, R2. Thanks for watching.